Dear friends, welcome back to the review of Harry Potter series. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is the third book in the Harry Potter series and is by the incomparable J.K. Rowling. All the Harry Potter fans, I must warn you though, once you start reading, you'll find it impossible to stop. Once you finish, you'll be tempted to read it again, asking yourself, how did I miss that? Oh, I get it now. This book is darker than the previous ones as Harry finds out more about the sinister forces that threatens the bizarre world. No wonder this book has won the award for the best fantasy novel and the Bram Stoker Award. And you know, over 3 million copies have been sold in the United Kingdom. Harry returns to the Dursley's home for summer holidays. After the Dursley's, Aunt Marge insults Harry and his parents. Harry accidentally inflates her, then goes away from the Dursley's home. Before leaving for Hogwarts, Harry learns about Sirius Black, a convinced murderer who has escaped the wizard prison Azkaban to kill Harry. Harry also learns that Dementors will be patrolling Hogwarts in an attempt to catch Black. Professor Remus Lupin, the difference against the dark arts teacher, teaches Harry how to defend himself against the Dementors. Harry overhears a conversation between McGonagall, Fudge, Fitwick and Hagrid. He learns that Sirius Black is his godfather and betrayed his family to Voldemort and killed Peter Pettigrew, a family friend who was confronted by him. An expected turn of events happened at Hogwarts. Half of Supergriff Buckbeak is in danger of being executed by the Ministry of Magic after injuring Draco Malfoy, who provoked Bhakti. Ron Spectrap's scabbers went missing. Ron doubted Hermione's cat Crookshanks must have killed scabbers. A large black dog attacks Ron and he drags him to a tunnel under the whooping willow. Harry and Hermione follow them to rescue Ron from the tunnel. They discover that the dog is Sirius Black in an animal form. Lupin enters and explains that Scabbers is a Pettigrew in his animal form. Pettigrew faked his death, framing Sirius as the murderer, hiding from Sirius since the escape. Lupin also discovers that it was Pettigrew and not Sirius who had betrayed the portal. Lupin loses control over himself on a full moon day. He transforms into a bamboo and attacks Harry Ron and Hermione. Black, however, saves them. A mysterious twist happens in the hospital ring as Harry and Hermione are told that Sirius Black is sentenced to have his soul sucked out of his body by the Dementor. Professor Albus Dumbledore tells Harry and Hermione to use Hermione's time turner, a device to go back in time. And say, Buckbeak and Sirius, what if the Dementors attack Harry and Hermione? Will the Patronus charm help them? Will they succeed in saving Buckbeak? How could Sirius escape? Well, find out the answers for these questions by grabbing Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Now, happiness can be found even in the darkest of the times if one only remembers to turn on the light. Words by Albus Dumbledore. Get to know the truth in it by reading more and more of Harry Potter. Thank you.